today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use our remover pads. You'll need one for each finger, so ten of them. Take the nail file first, and you're going to notice that there's a white side and a gray side. The gray side is what you're going to use to buff the shine off of your nails so that the remover adheres better. Okay, so I'm just going to start with five remover pads. I find that it's a lot easier to just do one hand at a time, especially when you're using these in conjunction with the clips. Start by tearing along the dotted line to open the package. And I like to do all of these at the same time so that I don't have to rip while I have some on my fingers. On the packaging, you'll notice a little plastic piece. If you take that off, it'll remove a sticky section that allows the remover pad to wrap around your finger and stay. Insert your finger underneath the pad so that the wet pad is against your polish. And then you're just going to wrap it around your finger and it'll stick on the sticky portion. Now you can do it just like this or you can use the remover clips as well. This just helps them stay a little bit more secure while you're waiting for it to do its magic. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do that for each finger. I would suggest that you get the sticky part ready beforehand because as you might notice in the next couple minutes, I struggle to do that once I get them on my fingers. I've tried this removal process a few different times now and I will say that after every time I do it, it gets easier. So it does just take practice. Okay, I've got them all on, so now I will wait 5 to 10 minutes. Alright, I'm ready to remove them. The silicone mat is really helpful because I can keep track of which pad was on which finger in case I need to use them again. I don't know if you can see, but it has started to kind of peel up and away from the nail. So what I'm going to do is take my cuticle pusher and gently push off the polish. Make sure you're never pushing too hard because you don't want to damage the surface of the nail. Now you'll notice that there's some that I can't get off and that's because I had, I think, three layers on this manicure. All I'm going to do for this remaining polish is just buff it again and then put the remover pads on for a few more minutes. Okay, it's been a few more minutes so I'm ready to get off the remaining polish. If you only have one or two layers of polish on, you most likely won't have to repeat this process. Now 
Now I'm just going to buff the remaining off. And I'm good to, good to go. Now I'm going to do the other hand. Okay, it's been 5 to 10 minutes for this hand. You'll notice that the polish on this hand just kind of fell off and started to peel away a lot better. I think I must have let it sit just a few minutes longer because it did work better on this hand. Whether you're using our flake off remover or these remover pads, I would highly suggest a cuticle pusher because it makes pushing off that polish a lot easier. A good tip to remember is to scrape the polish off away from your cuticle and outwards. If you go the other direction, you could cause damage to the nail plate or even to your cuticle if you do it too hard or accidentally push too far. I'm using the square side of the cuticle pusher now just to get a better angle at it, but both sides work. There's still a little bit left on this hand, so I'll just pop those remover pads back on. And after that, we'll be done. Okay, I've removed all the polish and there's no damage. I love this product.